You want to speak up in those team meetings and work. You want to be able to express your opinion clearly without stumbling. And you want to get your point across successfully with authority. But there's one problem. You're lacking in confidence to speak up. You can't seem to express your opinion in the way that you want to and your nerves are getting the better of you. I understand. We've all been there. Good news though, you are in the right place as in today's video, I'll be discussing how to be more confident in work with three key steps. Let me know in the comment section below if you can sometimes struggle with this by commenting yes below. And make sure to stay around until the end of the video where I'll be sharing my bonus step on how to overcome those nerves and build that confidence to contribute in work the way you want to. Everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box below, including a link to sign up to my free monthly newsletter. So make sure to sign up today. Hey everyone, I'm Ashling and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm a career and mindset coach and my channel is all about helping you create and maintain a positive mindset, build actionable steps and be held accountable to achieve your career and life goals. If you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos to stay updated. And don't forget to like this video, it helps my channel reach more people like you. Now, we're going to talk about how to be more confident in work. Just before we get started, I want you to remember that not everyone started off speaking with confidence. It takes everyone time, learning and practice to get confident and with these three steps, they'll be your first steps into speaking up in work with ultimate confidence. So, the first step to being more confident in work is to first look at yourself and identify your strengths. Before you can be more confident with other people externally, you need to be confident in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, your opinions and what you have to say, then how can you communicate your opinion and what you have to say confidently? So the first step is to recognize your strengths, believe in yourself and be sure that what you are saying has value because you believe in it. Take out a pen and paper and in one column, write down all of your strengths. Take your time if you need to, but really analyze this. Write down anything that you feel you've excelled at, what you've experienced with and what you know you can do well. When writing these strengths, I want you to write beside it your opinions of why you are capable in this area and the value that you will add to others by contributing your ideas. For example, your strength could be event planning because you planned multiple events in work. Therefore, you know everything to do with events. So if you are pitching your idea to organize an event at work, you can mention that it's from your experience. This is what you did. This is what works well. And this is what doesn't work well. The value of your contribution to the company is that they won't waste time and money organizing something that doesn't work and they will have a successful event with happy clients thanks to you. The other side of this is it is important to recognize your weaknesses also. These will be areas that you would need to improve on that you may be less experienced in that's relevant to your role. So using the same example, if you were experienced in marketing but never organized large scale events before, then it would be important to listen to other people's experience with organizing large scale events and learn from this. What's important here is to gain experience in this area in order to build confidence if it is an area that you are passionate about. Listening to others and learning will help you with expressing your ideas and opinions further in the future. You don't always have to be experienced in an area in order to contribute your opinion with confidence. It may be something you learned read about or analyzed, but being well informed on the topic will help build your confidence to share your opinion and contribution. Which brings me on to step two, which is prepare. Preparation is key and knowing your stuff is what will help you gain confidence in what you are speaking about. Whenever you want to speak up or give your opinion about something, making sure that you know the topic inside out is key. That way, if you're asked any questions, you won't be worrying about the answer and overthinking about how it sounds. When you're preparing what it is you'd like to say or a topic you'd like to bring up or speak about in work, remember the following. Look at the tone of your message, how long you will get to speak for, what to do if someone speaks over you, how to bring it back to your point of view. If you're prepared for those scenarios, you'll feel more confident when speaking in work. For example, I recently did two webinars, one for managers on how to manage employees remotely 
and another webinar for employees on how to manage working remotely for themselves. To prepare for these webinars, I worked with managers on this one-to-one -one so I knew what was working and what didn't work for managing employees remotely. I also knew from my own experience and researching with my clients what it was like working from home with them and what they were struggling with. Because I had the experience and gathered the information before the webinar, I was confident delivering my presentation, dealing with any follow-up questions and I felt like I really added value to those who attended the webinar. Remember, preparation is key. And on to step three, which is practice. It's true when they say practice makes perfect. Practice saying what your contributions would be out loud to yourself or to a friend. Look into a mirror when you're speaking. Give different scenarios to your friend of questions that could come up to practice together. When you've practiced it at home and out loud, it's time to start speaking to others in work. Maybe start at a team meeting and then work your way up to a board meeting or a client meeting. Start with the people you feel most comfortable with first and then work your way up to the ones you usually feel less comfortable with. Remember, if you make mistakes, do not be hard on yourself. If it doesn't work the first time, try and try again. Everyone has to start somewhere, but if you don't start at all, it'll never happen. So make a plan and start small. In your next team meeting, bring up that point that you've always wanted to say and just go for it. I know you can do it. And for my bonus step, the best way to deal with nerves that can affect your confidence is to breathe. I know you might be thinking, what will that help me when I have the butterflies in my stomach and I'm thinking of backing out? Well, you'd be surprised at how much breathing helps. Whether you're going into a meeting, performance review, team meeting or client meeting, whatever it is, try this deep breathing. So breathe in through your nose, count for five seconds and hold for five seconds, but make sure not to be struggling for breath at any point, otherwise hold for less. And then breathe out through your nose again, counting seven. Repeat this several times while also thinking back to your strengths list. Remember, you've prepared for this, you've practiced, and you've got this. If you make a mistake, that's perfectly normal. Just accept the mistake, learn from it and try again. You are capable and you can do this. Make sure to click the link in the description box below to sign up to my monthly newsletter and check out my online courses to help you achieve your career and life goals. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.